Hello, and welcome to Finance and for Entrepreneurship module. This module will bring undergrad and postgraduate students together the different experience, different background and different skills. By working together, you may really benefit of the synergies that can bring these different experiences and skills in order to develop an excellent group project. The main objectives of this module is to understand the nature, the role and the importance of different sources of finance for entrepreneurial ventures. You will be amazed by the variety and almost limitless sources of finance for entrepreneurship and starting your business. You will assess the availability, cost, benefits of entrepreneurial finance for different firms and the different stages of the firm growth. You will understand the alternative methods of financing of entrepreneurship and creative entrepreneurship. From developing a very hands-on skills in Excel in order to perform the appraisal of the entrepreneurship investment project, from pitching the group project. The learning outcomes of these modules include comprehensive in-depth understanding of the key components of entrepreneurial finance and financing process. At the different stages of entrepreneurship, people will require different types of finance, starting from a debt finance, equity finance, or alternative finance, such as crowdfunding platforms. Well, you will develop critical thinking about the issues related to debt and equity finance. You will learn how to be successful in attracting this finance and what type of finance will suit best your business. You will identify the challenges related to fundraising on the different platforms and at the various stages of enterprise growth. Of course, this is not the same. The finance are very different that you need at the pre-market stage, market entry stage, early stage growth, second stage growth and market exit. You will need a different type of finance like IPO, or initial coin offerings if you want to run a project or you want to exit your market. You will learn how to apply entrepreneurial thinking for the fundraising and how to make your fundraising event really sustainable, that it will draw attention of the potential stakeholders and will be good for environment. You may expect to develop the following skills during this module. Skills required for finance and for entrepreneurship will require working in groups, managing your time, presenting your work to potential investors and to us as a module conveners. Identify key success factors of the entrepreneurial finance, ability to apply key constructs and frameworks of financing for entrepreneurship, skills to work in diverse team and cultures. You will express different concerns, different business models. You will analyze the type of finance like equity finance, debt finance and alternative finance. You will participate in a decision-making process about taking the project in times of uncertainty and in a free market information. You will do decision-making under perfect market information. There will be transferable skills like dealing with complex issues both systemically and creatively and making a, a judgment about the business project. In particular, you will learn these skills while doing your individual task when you will work on three different investment opportunities where you will need to apply cash flow analysis, discounted cash flow, as well as use other criteria to understand which project you are going to support and which project you are not going to support. You will choose between three different projects with different cash flows, different profits, different return and investment. And you will argue why would you invest in these projects, which is a part of your individual assignment. In the group assignment, you will work in teams to create an environmentally friendly event and fundraise. You will use a platform which is called Crowdfund Campus Sandpit platform, which will allow you not only to raise finance, well, the virtual finance, but you will, it will give you that experience of the 
working at the platform, working with your stakeholders, convincing your investment, shaping up your product and addressing your market, making a video of your investment, putting it up on the platform and then pitch it to potential investors. You will learn other skills like developing dependent, learning ability required for continuous professional development. The content of this module consists of two main blocks. The first block is about indiv developing individual skills. It's about you learning Excel, learning how to do appraisal of the investment project using the Excel tool and existing finance and entrepreneurship frameworks. You will be able to apply this knowledge not just for starting your own business or for entrepreneurial entrepreneurial venture but also for the large corporate because even large corporate companies they also use the similar methods to evaluate the investment decisions. More importantly you will learn how to take decisions both in the free full market information but also in terms of uncertainty when you need to apply game theory methods. The content of this module includes 10 lectures. It is divided into two parts. The first part, or the first half, is about you developing your individual skills, learning the Excel tools to take investment decisions and a project appraisal. The project appraisal is not limit your knowledge only for entrepreneurship venture in startups and small firms, but also you can apply it in the large organizations. I mean, this tool, like discounted cash flow, investment appraisal, may be applied through the whole spectrum of the enterprises of different sizes and the different history. The second half of the course will be pitching your product on the platform using the video, talking to your customers, and it gives a very fresh experience of working on the internet and with a platform uh, in order to fundraise for your business idea. The lecture one will be introduction to entrepreneurial ecosystem and the sources of financing available. So the, the, there are different stakeholders in entrepreneurial ecosystem that have finance that you may think of getting. This is the government, the government finance like Innovate UK. This is the finance from angel investors, venture capitalists, finance from the banks, finance from the university, from other communities, finance, finance from NGO like Nesta and others. So they all are stakeholders of the entrepreneurial ecosystem that can accumulate a certain finance to support business. Lecture two will be financing easy way where you will see uh, different types of finance, debt, equity and alternative finance to a different, at a different stages of entrepreneurial venture. Pre-product testing, product testing, pre-market entry, market entry, early stage growth, second growth and exit. Investment decision and making decision under the perfect market competition will be in lecture three where you will learn how to use discounted cash flow technique and how to do project evaluation. Lecture four will entirely be dedicated to your coursework to help you to better understand what is required to complete your individual assignment successfully with a lot of help available through the interactive session and Q&A. Lecture five is a guest lecture where we will invite an international expert in initial coin offerings and cryptocurrencies to talk about this new type of finance like bitcoins, cryptocurrencies, um, you know, sources of finance uh, for the venture that is built on, on the, this virtual currencies and virtual uh, exchanges. Lecture six will be investment decision under uncertainty where we will, we will apply a three three of decisions and a game theory tools in order to evaluate the expected value of your project and then calculate it back using discounted cash flow to understand what is the net present value of your project when the probability of the event of the returns to happen are different across different scenarios that you may choose. Lecture seven is alternative finance where we will go in depth of the importance of the platforms like equity and uh, reward-based crowdfunding, how to raise money using the platforms. We will learn about such platforms as CDRS, Crowdcube, 
syndicate rooms and others. Lecture 8 will be starting your business um, in the UK with the financial uh, agenda and we will go through a various sources of entrepreneurial finance, including accelerators, incubators, government finance, British Business Bank and other. These all sources of finance are available in the UK for entrepreneurship and entrepreneurs at different stages of their business to, un to experiment with project and introduce the project to market. Lecture 10 will be the final lecture where you will present your group projects with organizing a green event and fundraising for the green event. This will make your you know, your project not only exciting and very close to the real life, but also sustainable, responsible and friendly to the environment. Please check for more information on the website of the Handley Centre for Entrepreneurship for extracurriculum activities, on the website of Handley Business School and on the blackboard of the Finance and for Entrepreneurship module. Please also get in touch if you have any further questions. Thank you and welcome to Finance.